Good day everybody, today I want to talk to you about what I think would happen if Obi-Wan Kenobi left the Jedi Order to live his life, or live a life, with Satine Kreis. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Obi-Wan and Satine have always put their duties before their personal lives. I think that if given the opportunity and during a different time, Kenobi would have left the Jedi Order for her. In Season 2 of The Clone Wars, Satine Kreese was the ruler of Mandalore and her life was in danger. Obi-Wan came to her rescue once again. We know that as a Padawan, Kenobi was tasked with protecting Satine. This led to the two of them spending a lot of time together. They grew so close that a budding romance started to bloom. It kept growing until one day, they both made the decision to uphold the oath that they had made, and Satine as a politician and Kenobi as a Jedi. Fast forward a decade or two, and as fate would have it, they would cross paths once again. Except this time, it would be different. Kenobi would decide to leave the Order and spend his life with Satine. After Anakin finds out that Obi-Wan and Satine have a history and saves them from Tal Merrick, he must know why Obi-Wan never left with Satine. They sit down to talk, and this is when Obi-Wan surprises Anakin with the news that he is going to leave with Satine this time. Kenobi expresses how he couldn't stand to see Satine in danger anymore. He also tells Anakin that the only way he will feel like she is okay is if he goes with her and protects her. This decision leaves Anakin surprised to say the least. He tells Obi-Wan that he is happy for him and the decision that he has made. He thanks Obi-Wan for the example that he has set and that he also has something to confess. After telling him about Padme and their secret connection and relationship, Anakin expected Obi-Wan to be shocked, but this wasn't the case. Kenobi tells Anakin that he has known for a while about what has been going on between Padme and him. He also tells him that he is happy Anakin felt comfortable enough to share this secret with him. With the decision now made, and their talk now over, Kenobi tells Anakin that he must go. He doesn't know where he will go, but it won't matter as long as Satine is there with him. They land on Coruscant so that Satine can meet with the Senate about peace and alliance offers. Kenobi goes to speak with the council about his decision. Reluctant, they let Kenobi leave on this new journey of his life. With the newfound peace, alliance, and life for Mandalore, Satine notifies the Senate that she will be stepping down. With the two of them now free of their duties, they decide to travel the galaxy together and settle down to have a family. A couple years go by, and they now have a son that they named after his cousin Corky, who helps Satine a lot while on Mandalore. With his new life now established, Obi-Wan couldn't be happier with what he has been able to have on his farm. Suddenly, there's a knock on the door. Kenobi opens it and finds Anakin standing there looking terrified. He asks Anakin what he's doing there. Anakin tells Kenobi that the war efforts are not going well and that they need to help with the fight. Obi-Wan being able to sense that this may not be the real reason behind Anakin's visit decides to probe further. After a couple minutes of Obi-Wan's Disapproving looks and constant questions, Anakin decides to come clean. He tells Obi-Wan that he has been having dreams of Padme dying and he needs his help. He tells him that Padme is pregnant and that he fears Palpatine may be a Sith Lord. He asks Kenobi to look after his kids if his visions come true and if he doesn't survive the confrontation with Palpatine. Obi-Wan asks to go with him only to get denied by Anakin. He tells Obi-Wan that he is grateful for the example that he has given him. He knows now, thanks to Obi-Wan, that you can have relationships and attachments and that you shouldn't be afraid to pursue them. Kenobi agrees to watch the kids and Anakin leaves to confront Palpatine. Anakin arrives at the Senate to find Palpatine in his office. He confronts Palps about what he knows and is confirmed to be true when Palpatine attacks Anakin with his crimson blade. After a long grueling battle, Anakin traps Palpatine by the window and holds up his royal blue saber to Palps' chest. With one thrust, he puts his saber through Palpatine's chest, killing him. Suddenly, Anakin feels pain instead of gladness in his own chest. He looks down to see that Palpatine had the same idea and has stabbed him as well. This didn't matter to Anakin. He didn't fear death. He feared his family not being taken care of. He wanted nothing more than happiness and safety for them. This is why he went to Obi-Wan and had him promise to take care of his kids. He knew that they would be safe with Kenobi and that he would care for them like his own. He thinks back to that moment when Obi-Wan opened up to him about Satine. He thinks about that moment fondly because it taught him to not fear love or pain, and it changed his path forever. 
With his dying breath, all he could say was, Thanks, Master. Alright everybody, I hope you liked this What If video. I really enjoyed writing it. If you liked and enjoyed it, please leave a comment and like. Subscribe for more What Ifs and other Star Wars videos. I hope to see y'all later. Have a great day. May the Force be with you. Always.